I am going to show you something really, really cool today. If you take a look at this young male, right here, this is a plaquette marble. There's something weird happening on the skin, right? On the scales, do you see the weird splotchy pattern? This fish used to originally look like this. Well, you can't really even see this one. This one's so dark. Um, well, similar to this one, but it was more reddish. So kind of like this male right here. So you might be wondering, what is going on with this fish? Well, this is actually reverse marbling. So when you look at a cellophane, like this for example, that doesn't have any pigment showing up besides the black, sometimes you have fish that will start off looking uh, white or translucent like this and they start to develop pigment over time and the pigment will spread and then they'll eventually become, you know, like this for example where this one has the pronounced koi pattern. But sometimes you will get a darker fish like this that is full of different layers of pigments and pigments layer on top of betta fish. So different colors cover others and there's a specific order in which they overlap. When a fish has color and starts to lose color and then maybe possibly marble, this is kind of what happens. So reverse marbling over here. I actually have another example. This is another dark, well it was originally dark bodied fish that is a little further along in the reverse marbling and as you can see this little girl has lost a lot of pigment and is going to probably be fully cellophane very soon so this is something cool that you can observe whenever you work with marble bettas which are the fish the specific types of bettas that have the jumping gene which allows them to kind of gain and lose pigment. We don't really know exactly what triggers these changes yet. I'm going to be filming these guys for the next couple of days so we can tr see if we can document the changes and the progress. And the cool thing is I am going to be selling all of these dark bodied metallics but you can't really see any of them because I guess the light is, is shining directly on top of them. But they're as beautiful as this one right here, where you can kind of really appreciate the beautiful blues and the reds. Well, now, you, yeah, there we go, right here. So it's a very beautiful fish. These guys are gorgeous as well. And just like this one, they can actually uh, reverse marble, and they can actually become either cellophane or koi. So that is kind of the ex uh, really exciting thing about working with marble fish, especially those of you that um, kind of tried to get koi uh, from me before in the past. I, I only have a limited amount of fish that I um, produce and sell, so sometimes getting one of these guys, you can take your chances, uh, see if you get lucky, and you might actually end up with a koi in the future. Here is two days later, just did some water changes on the jars so the water is nice and fresh and everybody's super super spunky and here is an update on the same beta that was reverse marbling so as you can see there's some progress happening and some changes and it's very fun to kind of observe these differences in the fish. I have a couple more that are reverse marbling so here's another one. That one has, is losing the red and it's probably gonna go full cellophane. We have another one that's almost at this point full cellophane. Still has some brown, kind of looks like a little five o'clock shadow. We've got a little koi right here. So everybody's changing, which is really cool, except this guy. But he's starting to develop a little bit of a spade tail, which is pretty cool. You can't see him very well, but he's really pretty. Uh, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but in person, in the right light, you can really appreciate how glorious he is. Right now, he just looks like a black fish. These beautiful metallics are so underrated, but he's a re really lovely guy. And then back over here is so far what everyone's favorite is. This male right here is what everyone 
likes the most. He kind of has the same marking on his face, like Bandit, that belonged to Sheila from Life with Pets. And he has a very cool little red spot. And then we've got some more. We've got another metallic hanging out here. We have a really shy little dark-eyed koi right here. Um, got another koi up there next to some of my bigger fish. And then if we come over here, I kind of moved the jars to this location because I decided that with the lighting, it was hard enough to see the metallics anyways. So this way it might be a little easier. And here's another one that's reverse marbling and losing the color. It was metallic like these guys and see, another fish. This is very interesting because my previous spawn did not have this. Oh, and that's my only blue. I only have one fully blue fish. So that's that's the that's just the only fish I have. The rest have either reddish or purplish undertones, but we'll see if these guys end up reverse marbling. I have a theory that this one might next. Ooh, hello. Hello. Are you intrigued? So cute. So these guys are hanging out right over here. 